if you want an abundance in your life, you have to find a way to serve other people. This may come as a shock to many people because so many people are self-serving. They are very selfish people, unskillfully selfish people, because in order to be able to give, you do have to first practice adroit selfishness. That is another video. In order to be selfless, you first have to be selfish, meaning that you should become something so that you can have something in order to give something. But that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is the secret to giving and the power of giving. Most people believe that there's power in taking and so they're always asking or they're always looking at or identifying people for what they can get. They believe that their way to the top is to take from people to see what they can get. That is very short-sighted that way. You can temporarily get to the top, but it's not long-lasting because the way that you get there is through a series of actions that only benefit yourself. It There are things that don't benefit other people. And therefore, remembering that people are the most important currency, you're going to run out of that currency because you have destroyed so many relationships or people have identified you as a person that is a taker. So being self-serving all the time unskillfully limits you in what you can receive because there is a cap. There's going to come a point to where you've ran through everybody you can run through and you have been identified as a selfish individual and therefore people will not want to help you. So it doesn't serve you to be self-serving. It serves you to serve others and in turn you're going to receive. Now, here's the caveat, because this is important. This is an actual skill, even though it should come natural. It is the intention with which you give that should be the focus. So you never want to give begrudgingly. You never want to give to people to where you know, I think about my little brother when he would uh, ask for stuff when we were growing up and your parent made you share. You're like, all right, man, here, take it. You really, I really didn't want to give it to him. I really didn't want to share that particular thing, whatever it was in that time. But I had to give it to him because I was made to give it to him. Or I gave it to him begrudgingly. I didn't really feel joyful about giving it to him to watch him also partake in whatever it was. It could be the video games, whatever it was that we were doing at that particular time, maybe I didn't want to share. And so it would be better if I didn't share than to give it to him begrudgingly. We're not talking about food. Nobody was starving or any of that. The point is, is that it's so important to give with the good intention because of the good karma, right? Because of you wanting that person to have some, but some people give, let me correct myself. Some people give because of the good karma, because they know what's going to come from it. But the good karma could escape you if you give because you want the good karma. Does that make sense? It's almost like something is attached to you, you giving. It's a quid pro quo. It's a something for something. It's not you giving because you want to give. You're giving. You see this all the time. You see it on social media, or on YouTube. These people are giving things and they're recording it so that they can put it in front of others because this is ego. So that they can put it in front of, front of others and say, I gave this. Oh, look at the gift and look at everybody saying, oh, you're so sweet, you're so nice, you're so this, you're so that. 
but you give in silence. Now, you can record it if you want to, but there's ego involved. And maybe there may be some kind of earthly gain. You know, maybe you're showing people we did this, we did that. I'm not knocking it, but what I'm simply saying is that doing things and recording and saying, see, look at what I did. That's a lot different than you giving, you know, because you want the good karma, you want people to think you're special, than giving in silence. There are so many celebrities. There are so many people that give in silence, and you, as a person that may watch television, you never hear about it. You would think, oh, this person's a rascal. This person, they don't do nothing for the community. How many times have we heard that? So-and-so don't do shit for the community. They don't do anything. But it's not that, it's that some people like to give without their names being out there. Some people are actually low profile. They are giving because they truly want to give, because they truly want to help, not because they want the recognition. And then there are those that give for the recognition, but they really don't really, I'm not going to say they don't want to give, but they're not overly concerned with what it's truly going to do for the people. So those are two different kinds of people. So the gift and giving is how you truly feel when you're giving. If you do not want to give, you never give begrudgingly. It's better that you keep whatever it is that you have. I'm in D.C. right now. And a guy, I asked him what a giant supermarket is on the street. And um, he told me, he said, look, go over here to 6th Street, whatever he said. And so I went. I said, okay, cool. So I stepped away and then he came back to me. He said, hey, man, you got some change? I said, rightfully so. You, this guy did help me. Here you go. I said, well, I had a few dollars. I gave him a couple of bucks. And I said, here, take the change because I'm getting ready to go back to the Dominican Republic. And so he said, oh, thank you, thank you. Now, I, I didn't give that begrudgingly. I was happy to give it to the guy simply because this guy really just helped me out. Even if he hadn't helped me, I probably still would have gave him something. But my simple point is that I was more than happy to give because he had just helped me. So it wasn't like a begrudging kind of a thing. So I hope that whatever it is blesses him and that he's able to use the money that I gave him. It was only like $2.50, $3. But I was happy to do that. One of the reasons that you have to monitor why you give to people is for the reason that many of us hate. What is the main thing that people say? If somebody gave you something a year ago, a year and a half, or 10 years ago, the one thing that we do not like is that we hate when people throw things up in our face. And the point is, is whatever you do, you do it because you truly want to help. You don't have to do that to throw that back up in somebody's face. This is why the energy with which you give is so important. You don't give to be able to throw back up in the face. You give because I want to give because this is going to help this individual, and I want to see this individual thrive. I want to see this individual happy. I want to see this individual uh, fulfilled so that they can, you know, get the most out of whatever it is that I'm giving, that contribution. So we hate when people throw things up in our faces, which is why the energy with which you give is so very important. It's more important than anything if you ask me. If you would ask me, I would say that how you do it is extremely important because the energy with which you give is going to essentially give you the, the payout. It's going to be congruent according to the payout. If you're giving with abundance and joy, if you're doing all of that, the payout is going to be even that much more greater. Not because I want good karma, not because I'm looking for something back, but I truly am giving joy serving this person. 
with the help that they need. I'm truly joyful about this. And because I'm truly joyful about it, I want this person to receive everything that they possibly can from whatever it is that I'm rece- that I'm giving them. Not looking for anything in return. I'm not even looking for anything in return. I'm truly just happy. And what that does is that sends, that sets for an energy wave because I, depending upon how strong you really wanted to give, like I'm looking for that smile on this, this lady's face, right? I'm looking for the joy on these children's uh, faces, the laughter, the joy, the appreciation. I get happy from that. That is my payment. Watching these people receive this stuff with great joy who truly needed it, that is my payment. Not anything that God or the universe can give me back. The payment is in watching you. That's my payment. I don't have to receive anything back. So I'm giving without strings attached. Or shall I say, shall I say the string attached is your the 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 fulfillment that you're going to get that's the string not money coming back not blessings coming back i am blessed which is why i'm giving to you that's the payout paying it forward as they call it so when you serve people that is a gift that's your gift but what typically happens is when you do that what you're the message that you're communicating is universe there's enough to go around i don't have any shortage there's no shortage i can give this and just as easily receive something in return that's what you're communicating and therefore since you're communicating that more will come in because you're not holding on i'm not holding on to this to this little bit i'm not holding on i'm saying let it go why because Money, gifts, whatever, it's all energy. It's a currency. That's why they call money currency. It's current. Current needs to move. If you move it out, it'll come back in. It'll do like this. But if you stop the current, if you stop the flow of money, well, then you certainly have to stop the flow. If you stop the flow going out, you have to stop it coming in because it's current. It's moving current moves it's electric it's energy and not just money that's with anything so we're talking about energy because money is energy gifts giving gifts all these these things are energy giving assistance this is all energy if you stop the flow of current you stop the flow of current you need that nothing can come back around nothing at all so the energy with which you give is the secret, the joy, the humbleness as well. I'm helping you because number one, you need the help and it needs to be done. And I'm not looking around, I don't need cameras around me. I'm helping you because you need help because somebody helped me. And so now that I'm up, I can help you. I don't want anything from you. The payment, the only when I help people, the only thing that I would ask is that you help somebody else and that you make the most of yourself. That is how you repay me, by making society better, by making yourself better, by doing the same thing that I did for you, that somebody did for me. They call it paying it forward. What was that movie? I think it was called Pay It Forward. But that's the payment, and that's how we keep this thing circulating. So the gift of giving is you're going to be fulfilled in your heart and more likely than not because you're overcome with abundance. You're overcome with happiness. You have no choice but to receive that which you give, which is abundance and happiness. It has no choice but to come back around, but I'm not doing it to receive it. So it's really a fine line. I do it because I'm filled up by doing this, but I'm not doing it so that I can so that it can come back around and, and fill me up. 
because I already had it, which is why I gave it to you. You cannot give that which you don't have. This is the other thing that we must understand. You can't pour from an empty cup. So this is why we must continue to work on ourselves so that we can give knowledge, so that we can give information. We improve ourselves, we make more income so that we can help, so that we can serve. We build a business so that we can give jobs, so that we can serve. Because without other human beings, you're nothing. You're nothing. If you think I'm lying, go to an island. You can develop yourself all you want. Go to an island and stay on that island. If nobody comes to that island, you're not going to get very far. Life is going to be very miserable. So we need others. That's why it's called humanity or society. Many people socializing, speaking, interacting. But it's not a society. If it's just you on the island. You're by yourself. So giving is extremely important. The energy with which you give is extremely important. If you don't want to give, it's best that you don't give because you're going to stop the blessing. So my energy needs to be right so that the whatever I'm giving to you can reach its full potential. That's the other piece. If I'm happy and I'm giving you something that you need, that what you need plus my happiness is going to make that, it's going to exponentially just expand. Boom. But if I'm giving it to you and I don't really want to give it to you, you can feel that. You might take it because you need it, but it's like, all right, I'll take it. But, you know, this person doesn't want to really give it to me. Energy changes forms. It never goes away. People can feel energy. So the gift of giving is based upon the energy in which you're giving. The how you're looking at whatever it is that you're giving. What's the reason that you're giving? Because many people do it for the ego. It's ego driven, even in, in the way that they give and they want to control things. If I see a homeless person and they're asking for money, it's not upon me to decide. Listen, it's not upon me to decide, well, you know, you can't be doing drugs. Listen, don't you think people know that? Do you not think that people know that they shouldn't be doing drugs? If you're a drug addict and I gave you $10, if you smoke or do whatever you, or you drink alcohol, that is not upon me to control anything. I have done my part. I, I hope that this money does you well. Maybe you can get food or you can get whatever you need. If you think you need drugs, that's not for me to try to control you. If I want to control it, then I'll buy some water or I'll buy some food and I'll just give you that. If you want to control it. But I don't have time if we had a stoplight to keep trying to go, well, don't do this with it or don't do that. Listen, that's up to the creator. I did my part. I've done my part, and I wanted this to be for something beneficial for you. You got to deal with your karma based upon whatever you take it and whatever you do. And anybody that's, that's doing drugs and all that, they're probably out of their mind anyway. They're not even, they're not even, they haven't even come home because they're so high. So all of these things matter. But it's not on me to try. If I'm going to give you $3, give you $3, that's on you what you do with it. $10, that's on you. Look, here go a couple burgers. Here's some water. If you want to control it that way, you do that. But no matter what, my intent is to help. If you're at the corner store, if I made a decision to give it to you, that's what I did. You can go get a, a pint of Hennessy, whatever it is that you want to do. But I have given jovially. I have given 
with full joy, with the hope and expectation that what I'm giving will enhance your life. Whether you smoking and you get high as a Georgia pine tree, or whether you drink like a fish, a barracuda, it's not a porn. I have nothing to do with that. Everybody has to face the music at some point. I can only be responsible for what I do. I can only be responsible for what I emit, the energy waves that I emit, what I put out. That's it, because whatever you put out essentially and eventually comes back. So never give if you don't want, and when you do give, measure your heart. Serve people. This is the key to life, serving people. You're depositing. Each and every, every person you're helping, you're depositing into them. That's what you're doing. Boom, I changed this person's life. I changed this person's life. I helped change this life. I was able to help them. And why, essentially, this is coming back all to personal development, because I made a decision to develop myself. I made a decision to learn skills. I made a decision to eat better. I made a decision to start business. I made a decision to train my body. I made a decision to read, and therefore I can share something with you about business that you want to know. You want to know about eating? I can help you. You need a hundred dollars? I can give you a hundred. Because adroitly, I focused on myself. And I'm more than happy to give to you because I'm not pouring from an empty cup. So there is the skillful selfishness in order to be selfless. And that's what we're talking about. Being selfless with a tremendous amount of joy, with a tremendous amount of gratitude. That is the gift of giving.